So I'll do that again since you couldn't hear anything that I was saying. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Kia, the creative superwoman behind At Peace Arts, helping you rediscover your power through creativity and community so you can heal and laugh and love and all that good stuff. I'm so, 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 so excited after many, many months of creating this uh, gem down here to finally bring you a preview of this year's Own Your Peace Daily Planner for 2022. Um, yeah, man, I always know when the planner is um, done because I feel like throwing it at a wall, like I'm totally and completely done with it. And that's how I know it's finished. So I have gotten to that point. Um, and so I know that it's it's over. It's done. <laughs> it's, it's, it's reached its full uh, fruition and it's finished. You see my little person over here? My little person that looks hilarious. So sometimes I draw on my desk. Um, but I wanted to give you all a little sneak peek at it. Um, oh, I wonder if I can share, hold on y'all one second. Okay. All right. I wanted to make sure I shared it. Um, so I wanted to give you all a quick little sneak peek of, the planner. Um, uh, the link will drop on Friday, this Friday, October 22nd, which is the day before me and Al's 17 year anniversary. Is it 17 years? He's good with the numbers. So 17 year anniversary. So we're dropping the day before. Um, and so I just want to give you all a little quick, a little quick peek at it. So um, just to go over, and what I'm going to do tonight is just go over some of the newer elements. So I think this is year seven. So this is the seventh year of the planner, which is absolutely insane. Thankful to all of you. Um, if you're in the planner group and you're watching right now, huge shout out to the Own Your Peace planner group um, where we drop some gems in there and just encourage each other and looking forward to more action in that group. Um, uh, but... Um, yeah, just want to show you some of the new features or the things that have come back. So the first big, big thing is the cover. So we brought back the laminated cover, the heavy laminate 10 mil, I think is what it's called, cover to protect your masterpiece. Then, of course, on the cover is some of my artwork. So this is feathers on the front um, is what it's called, is the name of this masterpiece. So it is one of my masterpieces that is uh, it's right here in my studio. Um, so that's the cover for this year. Um, and the energy for this year, this 2022 that is coming up, is harmony and healing. Um, I'm here for all of that. So that is the energy that the number 2022 brings up, runs down in numerology to the number six, which is harmony and healing and togetherness. Um, so I'm here for all of that dopeness. So a lot of that energy um, flows through the planner this year. So I think what people don't realize, and I just realized that this year, is that every year I literally write a new book. New Peace Formations or affirmations for those of you that don't know what peace formations are. They are at Peace Arts version of affirmations. Um, new quotes and proverbs, um, new masterpieces, um, and new reflections. All of that is new every single year. So it grows every year to be full of amazingness, and I'm just excited again to share it with y'all. So front cover there. Old laminate is back. We did away with the laminate last year, and it came back with a force. I was like, oh, we need the laminate this year. Uh, the Own Your Peace manifesto on the back, as usual. So keeping that Own Your Peace manifesto, that ain't going nowhere. Shouts to my sister, as you all know her as Tista, for um, helping me with the manifesto when we came out with it, I think, in year two or three of the planner. I don't remember anymore. Um, all right, so what do we have here? Um, let me see. All right. So opening it up right here, we changed the first page so that you have a big, this masterpiece belongs to. That's the first thing that's in here. Who does this masterpiece belong to is going to belong to you, um, this year. And I should have actually put it in here. Um, there will also be an option for a pocket, um, and I think I put it in, man, I meant to pull that out. 
it's a little corner pocket that's going to go right here, a little adhesive corner pocket. Did I put it in the other one? Nope. Did I put it in this one? Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the little adhesive corner pocket that's in here. I've been getting a lot of requests for people to have a pocket in your planner. So there is now a pocket in there. Um, okay. So this masterpiece belongs to, because your planner is a masterpiece, you have written this thing. Um, so that is in here. And then we have, but it's a lot of blank space for you to write some good stuff in there. And then, of course, bringing back the love letter, your love letter to yourself, table of contents. And because we move this book belongs to, to the front, um, you got a little bit more open space right in here. Uh, what you will notice if you already have the planner is that the icons have changed. So there's a new leaf icon and there's some other icons that are, you'll see throughout the planner here. I'll try and see if I can make sure you get them for you, get it for you. So the table of contents is the same. Um, in here, we have moved some things around. So we gave you some more space for your intention and word of the year. Um, a folk, a future goals and big ideas also gave you more space and balanced out these pages a little bit. Um, added on Juneteenth as a holiday. Um, and yes, so added those things in there. Um, numbers and notes here to kind of give you a little more guidance on what you want to use those sections for. Uh, the roadmap with the new icon. And we gave you a little quote here. If you dream of moving mountains tomorrow, you must start by lifting small stones today. Equatorial Ghanaian uh, proverb. So got that in there. There will also be a video for the roadmap session that you can follow along with. Um, so that's another cool feature that is there this year. Um, and then showing you the January page. I'm going to do a video shortly that shows you all the masterpieces. So for January, the um, grounding force, I guess, is Stay Rooted. And the masterpiece that is featured here is Baobab, um, which is an African, is a tree in Africa or one of the trees in Africa. And that's for January. You have your first reflection. What we did do this year is actually um, change the font for the reflection so that it's easier to read. So the font that's being used was used in the planner last year and all the years almost, um, probably except for the first and second. Um, it was a little hard to read. So we changed that for you and put your um, and gave you um, an easier to read reflection because you got to be able to read whatever it is that you're reading. Um, and then, of course, we have our calendar here. What you'll notice, brand new icon, the spiral brought in not only can you have the spiral, but you can also color it in. So we gave you a little border here at the top. And then also you can color in the months. So we left the months open. So you can actually color, color them in whatever color you want instead of having black, um, which I thought was just fun. It gives another coloring element. Y'all know I'm all about being able to color and being able to create. So you can just be doodling inside of your calendar, still have the intentions and goals sections here. We also brought the icon down here as well, just to give another little space for creating. And if you haven't seen the planner before yet, this intentions and goals and um, the how and possible roadblocks are huge sections in the planner, just in terms of taking your goal from the roadmap and moving it through. So um, a, what is she, I would say life coach that I know and love, um, actually said about the planner, which was such a joy, um, shouts out to her that, this planner is like a coach in a book, um, a life coach in a book. And I was like, what? That's so dope. So that's kind of how I lay it out every single year. Um, so your intentions and goals come from your roadmap and how you move all of those things out from your roadmap into your planner. Well, and I'll show you how to do that. So, you, of course, you have the moon cycles here for the month of January and then the months of February and March over here um, and some open space for you to write whatever it is you need to write in here. And then, um, let's see, meals for the week. Uh, we brought the little icon in here as well. So you can see the little icon stays and moves throughout the planner. So there's another little one over here up in the corner. And up here, actually, um, another little thing that got added were the spending goals. And so before we used to only just have the total spent. I just added a little bubble here at the top for spending goals. Like, what are you trying to spend? 
like let's start um, I'll show you a little budget page in a second but you have the spending goals here that's been added for this year as well um, let's see going to the daily we again have a space where you can color in well let me go back hold on my bad right in here you still have more spaces for coloring in so that week of space and this is like where you would write down all of your things that you have for the week you also can either draw in this space or write in this space whatever it is that you need here um, and so this is the daily spread so right in here you have the week of so this is the week of December 27th to January 2nd let's say for instance you have your peace formation here I am rooted in light and love that has been consistent in the last six or seven planners the, all the planners have had peace formations actually you have your dates here so um, you know 27th 28th 29th Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday this year which is new um, Huge shouts to um, the Own Your Peace Planner group that helped me really to develop this year. And one of the um, people, big shouts to Sharia, was like, I want enough space, um, equal space for my weekend. That's also Jill. So shout to you, Jill, um, that I want equal space for my weekend. Because before, the weekend used to be divided in a small little cube. And some people are like, I got a lot going on in my weekend. So what we did... Um, was actually divide the book so that you could have full on Saturday and Sunday. You could have equal space. So you've got Monday through Thursday on this one page here. Pieces of my day, which is just a reflection of your day, the things maybe you're thankful for or things that may have happened in the day. Um, and then the rest of the week over here. So the weekend is all together here. So that was a big thing. That is a big thing this year because that is a huge change from the last few years. So we now have one weekend all on one page. And then this beautiful section here to do whatever it is you want to do with it. If it's just, I don't know, tallying your bills or how many times you hug somebody whatever you want to do with this open space is your open space however you want to do it I'm all about choice um, the one really cool thing of course we also sorry two new things that got added this year there's a lot of things that got added this year the calendar so we didn't used to have this little calendar um, section right here this little calendar block this got added in so this is january and february so that you can kind of so you can see like okay this is what i'm moving into this week um and so you can see that right there automatically and make notes there if you need to also down here i have been wanting to do this for years this is a week countdown so right now this says week 50 week 52 of 2021 if you go on this next page, it says December 27th to January 2nd. So what this is doing, if you go through, that's week 52 of 2021. This is week one of 52. So I just moved a week over. My thought process was, if you're working on goals, let's see how, how far you are in the week if or in the, in the year. If you basically were like, by March such and such, or by, you know, middle of the year, I want to be here. Well, if you're not really paying attention or you're not counting down the weeks, you may not remember what week it is in the year, right? Or what month it is in the year, you like until you really get into it. So I wanted a daily, like a weekly reminder or daily reminder to basically be like, you're in week one. What did you say you were going to do in week one? Okay, week one of 2022, I said I'm going to do this. This is just a tracker. It's going to take you through all the weeks. So you'll, next week will be week two of 52. So you're counting down. So when you start getting to like week 51 of 52 <laughs> you were like all right I need to get my ish together right so that was my thought process on doing that so that's the daily section um, another really cool new thing that happened this year that I'm so excited about I'm excited about all of these things is I created my own washi tape so you all know when you usually see my studio over here is washi tape lining my shelves um, and so I wonder if um, I don't know. You all, t I must be still moving because nobody told me I'm frozen. Um, so I created my own washi tape this year, which is huge. I do, huh? I'm so good. Thanks, babe. Um, which was huge for me because I am a washi tape, washi tape fan. <laughs> for those of you that know me, I have way too much. And I'm thankful and I'm still wanting more. So. 
um, I could never use all the washi that I have. So I created my own this year. And these are the two that I created. So the first one, um, as you can see here, is a numbers one. That's this one. And these will be up for sale this year with the planner that you can add on to your planner. So this one is a numbers one to keep you track of your um, of your time, like basically putting your time in, putting the, the the washi on there, and then you can put in schedule your your what you call it there. Um, I can show you how I use it in my regular planner right now because I actually was very good at using it this week. So I'll show y'all real quick. Ooh, what's on my planner? Um, I will show y'all real quick how I've re really used it in real life. So here it is. That's my real planner, how I've used it in real life, right? So it's real. I use it, okay? Um, and so that's that washi. And then this washi, if you can tell, actually matches the cover of the planner for this year. So that was super duper exciting. Um, worked with Washi Mill, so huge shout out to Washi Mill for getting these, um, my Washi tape to me. Um, and, and such a, it was just like, I opened the pack, it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, like, just dope, just dope, just dope, just dope. Um, so yes, you can get that Washi, either that one or this one, or both. Um, those will be dropping on the website on Friday as well. And, um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, thank you, babe. And then, okay, so that's all the things for weekly and daily. Um, and then just real quick to show you, let's see. The reflections also, instead of having just like write out your reflections, some of the reflections are actually activities now. Um, so that was really cool to do that. I'll see if I can find one of them because I didn't mark these. Um, I probably should have. But like, for instance, this is an activity where you're actually going through and working through the activities in here. So it wasn't just, you know, some of them that you saw the reflections were literally, okay, write things down. This is, let's play around with this circle and, and, and you'll, if you have the planner, you'll get to see what this is. Um, up here, you'll always see the name of the masterpiece that's up here and what kind of masterpiece it is. Is it an original? Is it a paint party masterpiece? Which yes, we are still doing paint parties. Here's a little plug here. We are still doing paint parties. We are doing them virtually and you get to get the fabulous DJ Al who you just saw over here. If you also may know him as Mr. At Peace or maybe you just know him as Al. <laughs> Um, but he's the DJ in the back end and doing all the, the, the dope stuff that you get to see right now um, on our um, virtual one. So if you have a corporate event and you're trying to create or make your holiday event and you guys are all virtual, we got you. And if you're in person, we are also offering in person fully masked. We're fully masked. We ask that everyone at the event is fully masked. Um, and we do that, too. So. Don't forget, we're still doing paint party masterpie paint party masterpieces and paint parties. Um, so yes, just that quick plug. Um, and then in the back of the planner, we have da -da -da -da. okay, getting my money right again. The places you can color in. Um, this is your budget page. Um, we didn't change much here. Um, at all, except for doing the getting my money right. Nothing changed here. We put a quote here, which I don't think was here before. Abundance flows to me with peace and ease, claiming that, okay? Um, so that is now in there, just a new quote or a quote that wasn't there before. But this is where you can keep track of your expenses if you don't have the planner. This is where you can keep track of your expenses and throughout the month, uh, throughout the year, excuse me, what, you, what the amount is, what's due, whether or not you paid it. Um, and then down here, financial intentions and goals and the how and possible roadblocks that you might hit. That's all coming from your roadmap. Your master meal plan was already in here as well as the master shopping list. So your master meal plan is where you would track all of your meals or just keep your meals. When you try a meal and you're like, it's good, put it in breakfasts or lunches or dinners or desserts and snacks or meals you want to try. Put them all in here. I like to use this section right here for... Um, Let's say, for instance, I want to just keep my staples, right? Like what I would I have a salt, pepper, vinegar, oil, whatever. I put them in here. And then your master shopping list is for um, 
like this is like all the things that you get on a regular basis instead of just having your meal plans up here you have a master shopping list of like this is what I get all the time all the time and you can add to that um it might be really cool to even laminate this that could be fun too um then back here we got year end reflection which was also in the planner before so you got year end reflection um to just reflect on the year when you get to the end and we ain't even started it yet so we were talking about the end um a quote in here and then mementos and memories maybe you want to paste things in here glue things in here sticker things in here draw in here we just added that section this year actually so that you can have that and then again you have your little pocket back here in the back um which will also be um available too so yes that is a planner i'll show you one other thing that i also wanted to do this year um and so we made these um and these are bookmarks this year so this year i wanted to make bookmarks and made them which is like yes 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 so these are your own your piece um bookmarks which you can get these with the planner as well um you can also get them by themselves um these will also drop on friday and on the back they also have the own your piece manifesto um so this is just this manifesto is like the dopest i think i'm a little biased but i wanted to create something that um, went with the planner and also just like brought that own your piece manifesto home so you can give this keep one for yourself but give them away as gifts to you know tuck them into somebody's stocking or um give it away as a gift that you want to inspire somebody um, and just make them feel amazing um so um, if you have not heard the Own Your Peace Manifesto, it is really based on everything that we put in the planner. So I'll read it to you quickly. This is the Own Your Peace Manifesto. I am responsible for the role I play in every piece of my life. I refuse to give anyone my power. I am aware of the need to pour into myself. I share my gifts. I savor the laughter and love in my life. I manifest the life I want to live. I am courageous even when I am afraid. That is my favorite one. Um, I trust my heart and intuition to guide me to my highest good. I release judgment. I forgive myself. I am a masterpiece right now. I am creative. I love me. I own my peace. So that is a myth. This is bookmarks are just like oh my gosh like seriously good gracious like seriously yes and so they're all laminated by me um printed i have to give huge shouts to color copy center who every year for the last seven years has printed our planner beautifully um and shouts to the um editors who have um edited the planner um and shouts to my family in particular my husband who had to deal with me making this planner not going to bed on time being up all hours of the night it's just i think he just knows that that's what it is um so yes um yes that is the planner um i'm excited for it to be done i'm excited for it to drop on friday um i'll be doing some other videos to introduce um some of the other elements in the planner to you but um yes get in there get your planner when it drops i will come on and let everybody know that it's dropping on friday at noon we'll drop the link um and so you can get your planner in there and um yeah i have a little surprise for you i will tell you all when that planner when it drops i'll let you know i'll let you know the surprise um but yes i'm gonna look at some of these um comments and oh you all were talking y'all were talking to me i'm sorry um yes thank you p i'm glad you she said it looks great thank you thank you thank you hi kenya hi claire um a lot of people last year um in some of the years got these for their staff <laughs> sharia says we hashtag weekend space yes i'm glad you like it 
I'm in love with the mini spaces and the new icons. Thank you. I'm loving this. I'm getting myself a planner this year. Yes, Deb. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yes, you wanted to come on and say hi, Camille. You can still come on and say hi. <laughs> um, yes, 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 yes. Um, let's see. I love with the many spaces and the new icons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so Camila, the journal. We do have an Own Your Peace journal this year. I'm not doing a new version. My journal is somewhere in this studio. Oops. Oh. I have to grab it. I'll have to grab it. But we do have an Own Your Peace journal um, that is coloring pages. So it's basically 12 coloring pages. There's only one coloring page in the planner this year because I was trying to choose between so many new masterpieces that were available that I only could do one plan one coloring page. So if you want more coloring pages, you do want to get the Own Your Peace journal. Um, I'll do a video of that or post a link up for that. If you want to get that, you can get both of those um, shipped to you, of course. Um, but yes, yes, yeah. Oh, thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love for the hearts. I appreciate y'all. Um, it is definitely a labor of love. I am so excited for you all to have this in your hands. And, um, this year we'll still, we'll be offering basically, um, a way for you to come. We have the Own Your Peace Planner group, but to take a deeper dive and really get some help with your roadmap. Let me not forget this. Also, we will be offering a road map painting party, basically an opportunity for you to you and your crew or whichever, however you want to do it. If you want to do it singly with me, where you actually will be able to um, paint out your road map. So anybody, we ain't got time for a boring road map, <laughs> but you will get all the supplies that you will need to create a road map inside of your planner um, in here. Um, with basically some watercolor paper and watercolors and everything you'll need to create your roadmap. Um, and we'll work through um, the sessions so that you, it's be multiple sessions that you'll work through so that your roadmap is your roadmap and you feel really comfortable and really like you have a plan of action for where you're trying to go. Let's be real here. Sometimes you have a roadmap and you're like, oh, wait, I'm veering off to the left. That happens. And so you just plan for it. You're like, okay, it's going to the left. I, I have to go to the left with it because that just may be what's happening. But it's so nice to have that roadmap to always refer to. Um, I have my roadmap in my 2021 version um, that is here. And so that's what my roadmap has looked like for 2021, which is crazy that it's coming to a close. Um, and we're already preparing for 2022. So that's kind of just an idea of a possible roadmap that you can do. Um, and we'll work together to develop that. So with that says, yes. Oh, I see what you're saying, um, <laughs> Camilla. Yes, this year I was going to do um, the, ro the, the, the rainbow binding. And um, we basically decided against it due to cost so one of the things that is really big for me is making sure that the planner is affordable um and uh, it was going to be really expensive to do it so maybe another year um but not this year so um there are other opportunities if not opportunities but other options if you do want a different color binding i can get you that information um of a seller that i know that we can change your binding out very, very, very easily. Um, I can show you all how to do that if you want a different color binding. But just this year, thank you for reminding me of that, Camila. Um, just this year, it was just going to make it super expensive. And I just didn't feel right doing that. So we didn't do it. All right. So keep an eye out for the link. Keep an eye out for more videos to come about the planner and get your link pushing finger ready for when it is time to get your planner. Um, yeah. Okay. Listen, thank you all for chilling with me for a few minutes. 
um, sending all the love, light, and an overflow abundance of flow, bleh, 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 overflowing abundance of peace to you. Until I see you again next time. Bye.